welcome back guys today in this short tutorial i will show you guys how to create this simple background image in adobe illustrator just using the brushes this is a very short and easy tutorial so let's get started first thing go to the rectangle tool and select rectangle and draw a rectangle like this in your artboard adjust your rectangle size like this and place it in the bottom now go back to the rectangle tool and select line from the shapes draw a straight line holding the shift key make sure the length of the line is equal to length of the rectangle you have created earlier go to the stroke and increase the stroke width in the properties panel click on the stroke and make a dashed line instead of a solid line Again, just to make sure both the rectangle and the line is same distance, just go to the direct selection tool and select the both edges and go to properties and select the align tool and select the align tool is selected to align to selection and align the object in both sides. Now go back to the rectangle tool and select rectangles and draw some rectangles like this where it's touching the bottom rectangle try to keep some distance between these rectangles and you can have random sizes more random sizes will have very good effect in the final results now randomize the sizes and the placement of the rectangles And also when you move further away from the base rectangle, gradually make the rectangle smaller so we will have some nicer effect in the final artwork. Once you are satisfied with your artwork, because we have line segment in here, go to object and expand. If you are only using fill object in your artwork, you don't need to do this step. Once you expand the objects, select all of them apply a darker tone or choose a black color from the color picker now select the shape and bring it to the top a bit and draw a rectangle below same size as the bottom rectangle this is to have some distance in the center portion i will explain it to you guys later on why i created this rectangle make sure to deselect the fill and stroke of this rectangle now select all the objects including the new rectangle and go to brushes and click on the create new brush icon in here if you can't find the brushes in your palettes go to windows and select the brushes from the windows settings click on the new brush and select art brush from the pop-up window in the art brush options you can leave everything default but for the colorization select tint tint and shadows or hue each of these will react differently based on your source color since we have selected black color in here you can select any one of them so for this example i'm going to select tint and shadows if your artwork is different from black color please select tint and say ok i will close these additional windows in here now you guys can see we have created a new brush with our shape all right so i can delete this shape in here go to rectangle again and select the ellipse or draw a ellipse by holding the shift key and go to fill and deselect the fill from here we don't need a fill now go to the brush and apply the brush to the stroke as you guys can see we have applied our new brush to the stroke in here make some copies of these shapes you can copy by dragging with the alt key i'm going to make three copies and also i will make these bigger different sizes and i will also rotate them in different angles just to have a random shapes like this in here adjust your circle sizes rotation until you get a cool look like this in here you can also have more than three circles it's all up to you guys 
Once you are satisfied with your background design, select individually and go to stroke color and apply different colors to the strokes. You can have any color you want. I'm just applying random colors for this example. Once you are satisfied with your colors, make another rectangle similar to the artboard size and select all of them, right click and make a clipping mask. That's it guys, this is how you make simple designs in Illustrator like this. You can use these similar designs for background designs or sci-fi designs, cover designs and such. Also you can play with the opacity settings and color settings and rotation and make even more nicer designs with these same principles. Alright guys, that's all about it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and also I will create this type of shorter tutorials where I will explain uh, simple subjects. Maybe you can simplify your process or even learn some new techniques for your artwork with this tutorial series. If you guys want to see more this type of tutorials in the future, please let me know in the comment section and give me a thumbs up. Alright, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.